wish I could sing like that. We'll never, ever, ever in our lifetime experience music as wonderful as Earth, Wind, and Fire. And I was going to bring it down so that I could get Chris Marks on the line, but I think it's just kind of like wrongdoing to cut off an Earth, Wind, and Fire song. They deserve to be played out completely. But on the line with me now, one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, founder of Soul Sweet, Mr. Chris Marks. What's happening? What's happening, sweet lady? How are and, you? And I had no problem waiting until Earth, Wind, and Fire was over to come on. <laughs> I tell you, amazing, isn't it? Ah, great music. All right. What do you have for us today? Well, you know, it's, it's you know, been a little slow with things going around here with the holiday season. Sure. But what, you know, but what I have is, you know, just some continued coverage of um, the Hollywood Black Film Festival, which took place back in October of 2012. And as I said, I recorded a series of interviews, and um, this is just a, a couple of interviews um, from that coverage at the Hollywood Black Film Festival. This is um, a couple of actors from a film called 24 Hour Love, which I think just screened in Chicago, right? Yes, absolutely. Right, and um, I got a chance to catch it um, back in October at the Hollywood Film Festival and um, got a chance to talk to a couple of the actors. It, it was actually the film that closed the festival, and as you know, the the opening film and the closing films are the coveted, you know, mm. pieces of the festival. So um, just to see that it was the closing film, you know, is an indication of um, what the festival um, committee thought of the films. Oh, awesome, awesome! All right, you ready? And well, I was just oh, going to say just about these guys that I have. Um, uh, one of the guys that I have, his name is Dwayne Avery, and he is an up and coming. Um, actor out here, you know, doing some great things, and, and, and yes, I'm going to shout it out because um, I've had him in a couple of my pieces. So, oh, awesome! When he really, when he really blows up, um, you know, I'll, I'll put out the the sex tape that I had of him. And, uh, oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready, sweet lady. Here we go. All right, this is Chris Mark Steele at the Hollywood Black Film Festival, and we just finished the screening of 24 Hour Love, and I'm here with one of the actors, the incomparable Mr. Dwayne Avery. How's it going, brother? Oh, it's going beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you coming out. Oh, man, I enjoyed it. I really did. And it was good seeing you. You know, um, you know I, I enjoyed the film, and I got a chance to see you. Like, you had a lot of fun on this set. Tell me a little bit what it was like doing I, this film. Oh, I had so much fun. I mean, outside from the amazing cast that we had to work with, I mean, the script was phenomenal. And I just connected with the characters I read very well um because we all go through that that phase in our life where we're looking for somebody to you know just share our everyday genuine stories and life trials and tribulations just you know and um being in this Hollywood environment everyone knows that it can be a little bit tough sometimes especially being single and just uh, brings joy to have somebody to share that with and that's one of the things I connected with with Tyreek so it was an amazing character and I got to play with it a lot um, shout outs to Fred Thomas Jr. and Don B. Wells for giving me an opportunity for uh, being a part of this magnificent project and uh, I'm just excited and blessed and humbled to be here and I appreciate every opportunity and I'm just humbled and you, and you did your thing I mean this this was a a star-studded cast. I mean, you know, and you know, um, a lot of people may be familiar with Darius McCrary and Chico Bayman and everything. And and I know your star is rising. Um, how did you feel about working with these guys that you know have been seasoned actors for for a long time and working as kids and 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 you doing your thing with them? Well, first and foremost, I was blessed. Um, it's an opportunity for learn, learn from them see some of the things that they do great that made them who they are soak up their energy be a sponge to the industry um pick their brains a little bit you know outside of like just enjoying the moment and having a lot of fun it was so much fun on set oh man i mean this is my dream so 
I, I didn't even want to like wake up after a while, you know. I just wanted to keep living. And that that one day, I walked on set, and they like, oh, the way you're a rapper. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't gotta go home. I can really stick around. You know, if you need me to. Yeah, yeah. but um, it was just an amazing opportunity, and I, I want to thank God first and foremost because with Him, nothing else is possible, and through Him, all things are possible. So um, I'm just humbled and blessed, and I was uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm giddy right now. <laughs> well, that's good. We've got a good audience response, and, and I'm glad you enjoyed working with us. So, so tell us, I mean, what's coming up next? What you got going on and uh, some things on the burners? Yeah, uh, we just we just finished up a great project, 909predated.com. <laughs> um, I'm looking Shout forward out. to seeing that. <laughs> um, uh, it's a film that I was able to really dig outside of my normal um, characters that I usually do and really... Um, you, you, you got a love scene in this picture, huh? Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, very intense, very intense. It's my first real love scene, so I'm excited to see that. Um, shout outs to the editors and all the great people behind the screen that are making it possible. We appreciate you hard work and all the hours and hours and due diligence that um, you know that entails. And also have a web series, Make Love Not War, season two coming up. We won uh, a lot of a lot of our cast members won awards in the first season, so I'm excited about that. And um, we really, in this second season, um, decided to step it up and amp it up a lot. So you guys are going to really be uh, ex excited um, and uh, you're going to really be on the edge of your seat this season. So well, I'm looking I'm forward to you guys seeing that. And um, as I continue to work and practice and work and practice, <laughs> I'm looking forward to you guys seeing a lot more of me, so uh, stay tuned. And uh, you can find me on Dwayne underscore Avery on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm an Instagrammer. So, you know, I'm, I'm out here. You're I'm, out there everywhere. Yeah, Every I'm social network. You, people, you know, I'm a community <laughs> activist. I'm activated in the community, and I'm proud of it, you know. That's cool. That's cool. Well, congratulations. You know, it was a good film, and I look forward to working with you more and seeing more from you and hoping to see what you got coming up next. Thank you so much. All right. Much. Take Appreciate care, brother. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.